Welcome to episode 138. Li Shao Ki, from refugee to the second richest real estate summit billionaire in the world. This is an outline of episode 138. There are three reasons why we study Li Shao Ki. First, he's the second richest real estate self-made billionaire in the world. Second, he's the second richest self-made billionaire in Hong Kong. Third, he never finished high school. Let us meet Li Shao Ki. Li Xiaoqi was born in Shunde, China in 1928 to wealthy Chinese family who were gold traders. This is a map of Shunde, which is about 60 miles from Hong Kong. He was a child prodigy. At age 6, his father introduced him to the gold trading business. At age 12, he went through apprenticeship of gold through his father. In 1948, at the age of 20, with four years of business experience, he arrived in Hong Kong as a refugee with 1,000 Hong Kong dollars in his pocket, which was about $200 US. His first business was trading gold and currency. His second business was export-import. In August 2017, he has a net worth of $20.3 billion and is the second richest real estate self-made billionaire. At one point in 1997, he was the fourth richest man in the world. He made his fortune mostly by buying up land in the New Territories. So what is the New Territories? Well, it's a part of Hong Kong that was once both the country's size and consists of many fishing villages. In 1958, at the age of 30, he moved into real estate after making a small fortune trading gold and currency. This is what the new territories look today. 18 stays, all facing Tele Harbour or Kato Shan Ma In 1976, he founded Henderson Land Development. The property giant now makes up the bulk of his wealth. He was 48 years old. Sanhan Kai Center, ICC, IFC, etc., all of which can be deemed the landmarks of Hong Kong. IFC and ICC on the opposite bank, buying beauty and splendor with each other. In 1997, when the handover of Hong Kong to mainland China after more than a century of British rule, Li Xiaoqi was the fourth richest man in the world, thanks to his real estate holdings. Seconds before midnight, the British flag was lowered to the strains of God Save the Queen. The Chinese army band then played the Chinese national anthem to signal the moment that Hong Kong became a special administrative region of China. Good evening. The handover is done. The ceremonies and celebrations over. A century and a half of British rule in Hong Kong is simply history tonight. China is in charge now. It's already Tuesday in Hong Kong, the first dawn of a new era. A very rainy dawn. In spite of the terrible weather, Hong Kong's new flag and the Chinese flag were raised over all of Hong Kong's government buildings. 
a day of firsts then in Hong Kong, but for that it also of course had to be a day of lasts. And that's what this was, Hong Kong's last day as a British colony. In 2006, he made a killing by investing in mainland Chinese stocks. Hello 有一萬一億五千萬尺,個希望呢三兩個月都要搞到有有一萬一億五千萬尺,個係一個相當好嘅數字嘅,個行地嘅希望係一個希望啦. Since 2012, he invested in real estate in Shanghai and Chengdu. Since his establishment in 1972, Sun Hong Kai Properties persists in construction of top-grade residences, high-end commercial real estate, and landmark buildings. Shanghai Arch was built in 2012. It is located inside the prime lot along Huangpu River at Little Lujiazui and spreads gently in a sector pattern. In 2014, the Arch Chengdu was built jointly by three giants in real estate industry in Hong Kong. For example, Sang Hang Kai Properties, Henderson Land Development Company Limited, and the Worth Holding Limited. This is a family tree of his business empire. In 2015, he handed over control of his business empire to his two sons. What have I learned today? With a combination of vision, courage, and true management, Li Shaoqi had transformed himself from a refugee immigrant in 1948 to the world's number two real estate self-made billionaire. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your comments and questions below. My next video will be Li Shaoqi 8 Lessons. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.